So this is a topic a lot of people ask me about, uh, gun belts. So what is a good EDC belt for those that concealed carry? Um, and I'm going to be talking about, these are just my personal thoughts, preferences, opinions. Uh, I've tried a handful of belts. We'll go into uh, some of the belts I've tried that I still have, some belts that I've tried and I don't have anymore, uh, and what really makes a good belt. So for concealed carrier, obviously, we got a few other things to worry about, uh, like a gun hangs on the belt. So belt's got to be rigid enough to handle, support uh, a gun. Uh, in addition, I kind of have the lightest carry that I'll ever have um, right now, but I have a flashlight in my pants, a uh, multi-tool, a wallet, a cell phone, and that's it. But I'll have some keys and some other things in my pocket. So, so that's a lot of stuff. You got a lot of stuff weighing your pants down, wanting to pull your pants down, uh, and you got to keep your pants up. In addition to that, you have a holster that you know has hooks or loops or whatever that's hooked onto your belt, and when you pull your gun out, that's going to want to pull your pants up. Um, so you need something that's going to be rigid, that's going to be able to support your firearm, both carrying it and walking and moving around, uh, as well as keep it in place, keep your holster in place when you're trying to pull your gun out. So I'm going to talk about some different styles that uh, there are out on the market, uh, what to look for, uh, and things to consider when purchasing a belt. Because a lot of these belts are expensive. I, I don't even have some of the most expensive ones, but some of them are like 120, 150 bucks. Uh, I've never bought a belt that expensive, but if you're going to drop that kind of change on a belt, you should know kind of what to look for. So you have your belt. This is a 1.5 inch Cobra um, from Snake Eater Tactical. And this is the belt I use most of the time. I have a handful of other belts that I kind of work into the rotation, but if I have time to put it on or whatever, this is the belt I'll usually choose. Um, it has the Cobra buckle here. So I usually wear it off to the side, depending on the pants I'm wearing. So depending on how big the spaces in these front two belt loops. You could get away with it over here or wherever I'm right handed so I don't like when the buckle is over here on the grip side of my gun because I don't like anything uh, to catch my hand on when I'm going for a draw on the gun. So I try to keep this area clear and I also like to just keep the front clear in general to minimize the bulk that's going to be coming out the front of the whole or the front of your uh, body. So usually I'll wear it off to the side like this, just right about here, uh, and that's what works for me. So you have your gun here, um, and this is a 1.5 inch, so depending on your loops or your belt clips, they may only work on a certain size. So I'm using the G-code clip right now, which fits a 1.75 inch belt, but also works on a 1.5 inch. So if you're going to go for, if you're, all your belts are a 1.5 inch belt though, I would probably go for a clip that is 1.5 because it's a little sec more secure. So this has a little bit of motion up and down that isn't the best. Um, so anyways, these are kind of a pain because they fit through some loops, like they'll fit through these loops. These are uh, true spec 24 seven, uh, something rather pants. Uh, and they'll fit through the loops, but you really got to kind of work them work them through and that's kind of a pain so the style I like is just like this um, though Snake Eater's new belt uh, doesn't have this velcro um, so depending on how old or new your belt is or what style or what brand it is it may or may not have this velcro that holds this buckle on um, so you undo that and then you take it through like that so putting it on is just done in the reverse so as of right now, the posting of this video, this is my favorite style of belt, the Cobra. Um, I like it just because it's quick, on and off, and most of these belts are really rigid. They have a plastic insert here, so they'll help uh, hold your pants up and they'll help hold your gun in place and it won't droop or sag like some of these other belts I'm going to go into here in a second. So this will just, it's pretty common sense, weaves through like this. Um, and the good thing is these are not infinitely adjustable, like it will fit a 30 waist and a 50 waist, but you can make micro adjustments so that you don't have to fall between like the one inch increments on some other belts, like a leather belt. Um, maybe you ate a little more food and you're not falling in between, you're not falling in that one or two inch, you're falling at like one and a half inches and you don't have an adjustability option for that. 
uh, with these kind of belts, you do. Um, I also like just that they're quick on and off. If you need to take your pants off to go to the bathroom or whatever, it's just, and that's it, you're good to go. Um, some other belts are a little more pain. You gotta re-fish this uh, belt through the loops and stuff like that, but this basically, it's more of a pain to get on uh, the first time you put it on, but then it's more convenient throughout the day. So whatever lost time you got, uh, putting it on in the morning, you make up for throughout the day, I think. So uh, that's something to think about. So yeah, this is a Snake Eater Tactical uh, 1.5 inch Cobra. And I like these style Cobras that just don't have anything else. They're just, they're minimal, they're solid, uh, and they're good. So there's another style of belt that's pretty popular. I don't even know who made this one, actually. Um, but this belt also uses a Cobra buckle, but it has, when it's on, it kind of has this overhang of two layers, um, depending on how big it is on your body. And this has adjustability the same way with this, but it's just... You see the bulk factor of this? Maybe it's hard to see because it's black, but you have two layers of belt plus this thing on top of it. Um, and it's just more of a pain to fish through your belt loops and everything. So these are kind of like the, I don't know if they were the original style, if this was the kind that came out first or not, but I bought one of these as my first gun belt uh, and hated it. So I never use it. I don't like it. They're rigid. Uh, I don't like them for concealed carry because they're just bulkier than they need to be. So, nothing wrong with them. They get the job done. Uh, they have a Cobra buckle, so they're cool, but I don't really like, I don't really see that it has some advantages, but I, I'm not even gonna go into them because I just don't like them. And this is just, you know, personal preference. So, in addition to the uh, Cobras, there's also, you won't see as many of these, but these are the Raptor buckles, uh, and same basic idea, but I think they're not, I don't actually know. I probably should check facts before I speak, but I don't think they um, can hold as much weight. Not that you ever really need that, but if you're like rappelling off of a building holding a couple people, then uh, maybe the Cobras are stronger than the Raptors, but I'm not sure. These are kind of bigger, um, but a little thinner, I believe. And I don't know, you probably won't even see a belt with this on, but this belt does have, um, this thing over here. So this is a riggers belt, um, and it basically has this loop that you can attach stuff to. For an EDC belt, there's no point. It's just extra bulk, extra stuff to get snagged on. Uh, I don't really see a point to have this on an EDC belt. So if you, if you see a riggers belt, I don't know. Uh, maybe if you wanna be super tactical and go repelling or whatever, cool, but I would say pass. So then you have just like a normal belt like this. This is a uh, Star Wars, so it's cool. Um, and this is just your standard leather belt with holes in it at predefined spots. So this belt is gonna be better than nothing, but it's really flimsy um, and it won't really support a gun as well as some of these other belts will. So you see this thing can just like bend in half and it's all wobbly, you get it more solid belt and it's really stiff so that's a good thing the stiffness of the belt so this one is a, called a core gun belt k-o-r-e uh, and it's a pretty interesting concept um, it uses this uh, track uh, like ratcheting type mechanism so you have a lot of adjustability here not just one inch two inch three inches uh, with this little release mechanism this one's pretty cool, uh, and it's a little more rigid than your typical leather belt. It has a plastic insert uh, in it, uh, and I've been pretty happy with this belt. Uh, this one is kind of for the uh, lighter weight type holsters. I think they advertise it like light to medium weight handguns, but I carry a Glock 19 with an extra mag with it, no problem. So it's stiff enough to handle uh, what you need, uh, and if you're looking for that more traditional leather look, but still want a belt that's going to give you the adjustability that... I think a concealed carrier uh, needs. This is a really great option. Um, and it gets sent to you really big uh, for a big guy, uh, and then you just chop it down with scissors to the desired length that you need. Um, 
So this is another good option for kind of a lightweight, lightweight uh, belt. Uh, and I'll try and show you real quick. This is the uh, system, the release system. You push up on this thing and it releases the belt. So really quick, really simple, um, and a pretty cool little belt, pretty uh, innovative. So there's that. And then you have your typical, uh, this style of belt. I don't even know what this style of belt's called. So this one, you know, you're familiar with it. This is a 511, uh, and it's kind of reversible, so it's kind of nice. Uh, and this is the all plastic design, so if you find yourself uh, not carrying a gun and needing to go through metal detectors a lot, like uh, if you're flying, this is the belt I use when I fly. Uh, it's not the belt I use when I carry a gun, though, because it's really pretty floppy. Um, also, I don't really like this design because uh, you can't really pull it tight. You kind of just set it to the tight, however tight you want it, uh, and then it won't come loose. But you can't really tighten it down, uh, and that's, you know, pretty much fine, but I don't know. I don't really like it. But if you need a lightweight belt uh, that won't set off metal detectors, this is a good option. But, you know, not, a, not your best option for carrying a gun because it really bends and flexes. So yeah, hopefully this video uh, gave you a little bit more information so you can make a more educated decision uh, when you're going to purchase a gun belt or an EDC belt for concealed carry. Um, again, I haven't tried all of them. These are what I've tried. There's other belts out there um, that I haven't tried that I can't afford or whatever. I just haven't gotten around to yet. Um, and I'll put some links down in the description uh, so you can click on them and go check out those belts. Uh, some of these companies are people that I know. Uh, not like personally, but I've talked to and they're really cool guys. Uh, I don't get anything. I don't get any affiliates for pushing these belts. They're just people that I've dealt with and belts that I've used uh, that I can recommend. So let them know I sent you because that'll be cool and they'll just, you know, know that their belts are being put to good use by me. Um, and then if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them below. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing and commenting and all that stuff. Apparently it helps uh, you become more popular on YouTube. So I really appreciate everything.